Hi there everybody. So on this video I'm gonna be taking my Mercedes 190E for an MOT. Uh, this car hasn't been MOT for a very long time. Um, I'm gonna check the date and show you later. But um, I checked everything and I'm hoping it will pass. <laughs> this is a 1988 and uh, it starts now because I had issues starting but it's all good now hopefully I'm gonna go to the petrol station first get some fuel in and then go to get the MLT done so everything should be working I put a new wiper blade washers are working um, the only thing I might be thinking here is that the tires are a little bit old. But apart from the tires, um, which I may have to um, replace, everything else is working lights are working, indicators, the whole actual car is actually working uh, quite well for its change anyway. I may not actually film while I am in the MOT station because Actually, I actually need to change the gearbox oil as well in it and uh, a few other bits and bobs need to be done. Um, the brakes feel a little bit old at the moment but it might be some corrosion that's formed through the through time uh, which would be expected. I'm getting a little bit of uh, condensation here. Somebody's beeping at me, I think, but I can't really go anywhere as I can't have a car in front. <laughs> version and it's actually not bad it's not a fast car it's just a comfortable car even the seats are like really uh, I think they have springs like a mattress or something but they're, they're very comfortable and to be honest I'm hoping to use this car for maybe another year or so while I can use it because uh, I live in the U.S. U.S. zone, which means once, um, well, I live in the area where the U.S. will expand, and once it expands to that area, then I won't be able to use the car, I don't think, otherwise it's going to be really expensive. I can use it for another year and then after that I may just have to use it for other purposes I also think I have to change the rear springs because they, they did look a bit 
corroded really. They're not broken but they are corroded so okay. The blower is working and I am getting a bit hot, that means the heater is also working. Which I already checked all those things of course. Now I'm gonna put some fuel and uh, I'm gonna drive to the MLT station. I'll let you know how it goes. Tap out a memo or just gaze out the window. Up to you. Early evening. Mental meandering. Series full streaming. Get closer to the people, places, and things you love. No train. Nothing beats me. So, we have good news. The car has passed its MOT. Um, I checked the last MOT on this car was December 2016 which expired December 2017 and it had done it had a hundred thousand miles um, so now I've done the MOT it's past so happy days <laughs> um, I had a couple of advisories on the front tires because they are a little bit they are cracking up and getting a little bit old so I'm gonna change those tires anyway because I don't really want to drive a, a car with uh, a car with those tires. And uh, it's now got 101,478 miles. So um, it's doing pretty good. It's uh, the brakes. Everything was good. The the springs are a little bit corroded at the back, but they are still in one piece. Um, so I may change those as well in due course um, but um, yes happy days I can celebrate the car is past its MOT after been sitting around for five years so it hasn't done any miles at all and it's driving fairly smooth um, to be honest the gearbox is really uh, really smooth changes as well um, all the gauges are working everybody was quite stunned at the MOT station to see this car um, they really liked it uh, I guess uh, you don't get many of these old Mercedes coming to the MOT station anymore so I um, uh, think we have some old-fashioned uh, people at the MOT station who actually admires the old classics as well. Um, so I was happy about that as well because uh, it's nice when people appreciate the car and and they actually are happy to see one, <coughs> as I am. So uh, now I'm heading back. Uh, so the next. Um, the next video on this car will probably be me changing the gearbox oil and the oil strainer. The strainer which is like a filter that sits inside of the, uh, the gearbox. Um, and also I have to repair a few bits and bobs. Some of the panels in the car are peeling out a little bit so I want to make sure they are uh, stuck on properly um, not sure if that, that's a bit more of a kind of repair for a specialist but uh, they are just coming out a little bit like uh, peeling off so I may use some super glue not super glue but some special glue to um, to glue the trim on um, it probably be uh, more suited to somebody that can do restoration uh, who is uh, professional but uh, they are not too bad so just needs a, a, a quick general clean um, and then I can start using it really so that's the plan um, I hope everybody likes uh, my video here uh, regarding this 190e um, and uh, I have quite a few uh, videos already on it out on YouTube uh, especially because when when I couldn't start it I had to do quite a lot of uh, work on it uh, 
and even to the points where I removed the fuel tank I changed the fuel filter I changed the fuel pump I changed the Jetronics system even though there was nothing wrong with my original Jetronics but because the car wasn't starting and I hadn't had much experience on a car like this to be honest in fact I never really worked on one so I didn't quite understand how the Jetronics work but now I know a little bit better um, a lot better actually um, in the end the problem with the, this car not starting was to do with the valve stem seals that were allowing a little bit too much oil to go through down into the cylinders and they were, it was wetting the spark plugs where the spark plugs couldn't really ignite um, and a couple of one cylinder was not too bad and that's why the car sort of now and again started but was burning oil and it was just horrible um, so anyway uh, keep a good lookout for all the videos that are coming along and uh, I hope to see you on the next video thank you for watching and following my channel um, we'll see you soon